Today we're going to learn about how to create Android like button using Excel VBA. This is a simple uh, steps. You should be no problem following it. First, we're going to add shapes to our Excel file rectangle. and put a size on it 0 0.5 inch for the length and we going to little bit drag it, drag it to round the edge make modification on its color Uh, for this color, you uh, free to choose whatever you want. Next, we're going to add one more uh, shape. It is circle. That will be our button, just like Android or iOS button. Circle. Just put. Make sure. It fits on your first shape, rectangle shape, like that. Put it on the right hand. This should be our own position. This should be our own position. Align it so it can perfectly center. Now for uh, status, we give uh, on, on, and off conditional formatting. Use conditional formatting with rules. Only cells that contains equal to on will be uh, green. It will change the color to green. The, color, the cell color to green, just like that, just as simple as that. This is uh, an example. You uh, could use this button to operate other operation, other function in your uh, Excel files. This is to show you how that uh, this button can act like a normal normal button in iOS or just like an in iOS or Android. Yeah, it will it will turn red if the status will. Also change off. Now we're going to write some code, some VBA code. Oh yeah, just we should change this uh, circle uh, name to Android button so we can call it on our uh, code letter. Change to our visual basic to insert module and then we start creating our first uh, module our first sub for this module because we we use uh, width so we we don't have to uh, type in seat one every time we want to uh, refer to range or shape in the seat one. We put range uh, E4 
for this. Okay, range E4 value should be uh, off first. Okay, then uh, if it's off, we'll execute uh, our code uh, later. We finish off uh, our if condition first, else and if. And, and if. So the idea is if range E4 value is off, the shapes, our shapes, our button shapes would should be should move to uh, left. It will, uh, we use increment left command by 20. Uh, so uh, this uh, 20 points. Uh, you could change it later, depends on your button uh, size. Okay, with else, if range uh, other, uh, other than off should be the shapes, Android button shapes will move to right. That means increment left, you put negative on uh, 20 points so minus 20 increment left minus 20 it means that our button will move to right 20 points the value should be off it's the opposite of our first code that's it that's all of our code now we should try now uh, we assign macro to both our uh, shapes rectangle and circle now we should try now uh, it should it works like a charm okay that's it for now it's a simple step but i think it would be hope helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Support our channel. Thank you and see you on our other video.